February marks Black History Month in Canada. This month-long observation provides the opportunity to highlight the contributions, impact, and accomplishments of Black Canadians to their communities and to Canadian history. Joining us to share about Black History Month is someone whose contribution was key in designating February as Black History Month in Canada. As one of the architects of the initiative, the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine was a major advocate for equity, diversity, education, and economic opportunity as an elected official. In 1993, Dr. Augustine was the first black woman to be elected to the Parliament of Canada, representing the riding of Etobicoke Lakeshore. She went on to serve in various other roles. Today, she continues her legacy of advocacy and community improvement through her foundation, the Jean Augustine Center for Young Women's Empowerment. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Augustine. I'm very pleased to join the forum. Thank you. We are thrilled to have you today. Uh, you drove the initiative, designating February as Black History Month in 1995. So I'm sure it was a historic process. Uh, what, what all happened, what entailed uh, that, that day? Well, it was an interesting day and it was a day that I waited for pretty close to, you know, six to nine months, almost at the birth of a baby. And that is from the time I approached the house to uh, to designate or to have that motion uh, passed and to ensure that I got something in there which was non-debatable, that I had um, I had words and I had ideas and I had things that uh, that could not be debated. And so the motion was a very short one. It says that, African Canadians have been here for the 400 years. It said that we've been making contributions to Canadian society. It said that we were a diverse um, African Canadian community and ask that this be recognized uh, in Canada and that February be designated as Black History Month in Canada. I had um, a party um, the ND from the NDP as seconder from the Bloc Québécois seconder and from the, Repo the Reform Party at the time, another um, uh, uh, seconder. And so it was unanimously passed. I was happy. I was, I was on top of the world because as an, as an educator, I had come from uh, teaching social studies for many, many years where I taught nothing about indigenous people. I taught nothing about treaties or land claims or residential schools. I saw nothing in the textbook uh, about African Canadians with the exception of the Underground Railroad. And uh, so I was happy that now that the house, Canada as it were, has designated February as Black History Month in Canada, that now educators, teachers, curriculum writers, entertainers, corporate Canada, religious settings, that we will now acknowledge the contribution of people of African descent. I think that education component is extremely important to the, to the adoption of Black History Month. So since it was adopted, have you noticed changes to public awareness regarding anti-Black racism in this country? Well, I think it has made a big difference because, as you know, I mean, we're talking now because we're talking about Black History Month in Canada. Black History Month is celebrated and acknowledged all across this country from coast to coast to coast. And one of the things that I have been stressing, Nathaniel, and I want to stress it here, is that Black history is not just for Black people. Black history is Canadian history. It's all of our history. And it's important for us to know each other's history. I also want to stress that it's Black History Month in Canada, in the United States, they're also celebrating Black History Month. They started since 1929. And so I'm stressing Black History Month in Canada because I want us to talk about Canadians, Black Canadians, African Canadians, who've been contributing, who have contributed, who have participated in every aspect of Canadian life. And our young people should know this, so that when you ask the names that come up, like you know Barack Obama, um, Martin Luther uh, King, um, Rosa Parks, uh, in the music world, you know they threw out, and we need to show that right here in Canada, we have Black Canadians 
and that we don't necessarily have to look to the South, but that February, Black History Month in Canada, we focus on the African Canadians who've been making a difference in Canada. Powerful words, Dr. Augustine. Thank you so much for joining us today on Forum Daily, and let's hope we can take this, your message uh, throughout the year. Thank you so much, and Black history should be taught throughout the year. And thank you for your exactly. effort. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back after a short break.